I apologize for being cynical here. Then I'm thinking when you get 50 of the 51 electors you have gathered who are Democrat, they, they, they necessarily are not going to switch their votes as a result. Is this really about hurting Donald Trump and the credibility of his election and nothing more? This is really about finding out the truth about so you what do role the, the Russians same played in hacking our you election. You do the same if it were reversed. If it was reversed, Neil, you know and I know that the congressional, the congressional Republicans would already have held hearings um, Monday, first thing Monday morning. Oh, so I don't know let's that, be but real. you would be we the know, same. You would be know, urging the same meeting of electors to study we this have information. To find, we have to find out the information. We asked, we've asked for declassification of Do information from this administration You would have the same zeal and robust years. attitude about getting this out and to the public I would want to know if they the hacked the election meet. on behalf of... I'm always for more transparency, always for more transparency. If I thought my party was going to be subject to blackmail by, by Russia, you're darn right I'd want to see that information. Do you think Hillary Clinton lost this right election in the that electoral that vote? Do you think Hillary Clinton lost this election in the electoral vote? I think that Hillary Clinton was severely damaged by the hacking that, of her emails and the DNC emails that went on a drip, drip, drip basis every day for three months. So you every think day this Russian of hacking up and talking about the economy, the election they results. woke up and talked about absolutely. So you think it, it wasn't her did. message that didn't reach voters who were subject to high unemployment states like Wisconsin and Michigan that 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 wasn't what did her in. This thing did no, her No, I think that there are several factors in winning and losing. Look, if 80,000 people lost. had voted differently she in lost. this election... The Russians didn't make her lose. She if, lost. No, no, I, I, don't, I don't know that you can say that. What if, what if Donald Trump had lost the election? Would you say it was one single factor? Right, so, or would so you say you it just, was an array just, of you factors? You just believe so what you're up to here, Christine. Factor. You are trying to get electors who are here for bound to the Republican county, Republican states... To, to switch their, their, That's not their what allegiance, I, I, right? Don't put words in my mouth, Neil. You, Neil Cavuto, you owe it to the American people to let me tell the truth and to not lie about what I just said. Yeah, Alex Jones said the same thing about me yesterday. Alex Jones in InfoWars um, has said that I want to have a coup and assassinate no, you know, Donald Christine, Trump. Since then, I've gotten Christine, death threats, no so it's not helpful here. for me Christine, if you're going to Donald lie about Trump, what I am saying. Christine, Donald Trump doesn't come on my show. not helpful for me. It's not safe for me Christine, or for my family Donald or for other Trump electors. Please like don't do that. He doesn't come on this show. I have no agenda here. I'm just saying it seems that you don't. Well, no, then don't you put words in my mouth, Neil, that you know are going to you want the electors to get this make me unsafe. Christine, come on. You want the electors to no, get no, this Neil, information? You can, no, no, Neil, Neil, you need to make sure that you days. understand you, what your you role is here. Do you want them to switch their votes, yes or no? What I want to do is get the information. What I want to do is not have you mischaracterize what I say so that I get even more death threats and more insults and more online attacks than I'm already getting. Part of the reason that Republicans won't sign on to my letter is some of them have said to me point blank, I don't want to get that kind of blowback. I want a hearing. I want a briefing. You I want a declassification. Even know but I don't want to get the I threats. Get when I raise critical stories about either candidate, what I'm asking okay, you so though is, do don't you put, want so then, the so please don't put words you, in my mouth. Then I wish Neil. I could get any accurate words out of your mouth, Christine. I want to know. Uh, excuse me. Are you? Excuse me. Christine, you've gotten many I accurate words out of my mouth. Know, please don't I call me a liar, me. Neil. When you're telling the electors, this would be a first. You want the electors to get this intelligence data. I'm taking the leap that it will prove that Russia acted to interfere in the elections, that Russia moved but how can to you hack take the election. Wait a minute, I'm going to, just for the sake of argument. Then, what do you want the electors to do with that information? I haven't seen it, so I can't prejudge it. I, right now, this what is I want and is the thing, information. Christine. What Either, I want you is want for you not to put to words in my mouth that will risk my safety. What I want you to do is is discuss accurately what I am saying, which is I don't the know public what you're has a right you to know, to have and the electors have and a right to know. Then do what with it? Do what with it? What if all the Republicans look at this information, and they look at it and they vote Good. the way they were voted in their states? You, Christine Pelosi, would be okay with that? Yes or no? What I want first is to get the information. I'm not going to prejudge something I have not seen. I do not know what it is that the Democratic Party or the Republican Party is facing vis-a-vis -vis possible blackmail threats, possible continuing hacking threats. But I'm very concerned about it as an American citizen. Are you I'm concerned, certainly concerned that maybe when all is said and done? Are you concerned so it's not just what, what the electors do, oh, it's what the senators right. do.
in their confirmation stuff. Okay, so, okay, okay. so when so all is when said all and done, said and let's done, get the information and talk about it. When all is said it. and done, will you ever look at what happened in the election as a sign that Hillary Clinton didn't win it because Hillary Clinton botched it, because Hillary Clinton's message didn't resonate, period? Well, I think that what you, as I said before, when someone wins or loses an election, there isn't just one factor. Again, if 80,000 people Did vote Hillary differently, make any mistakes at all? do we say that? Do we say that? Uh, do we say that? Well, I've been, I've been complaining about mistakes that were made since the beginning. So do you want me to go back and talk about the yeah, comments I made on the record in the summer it? of tell 2015? Me. I, I might have missed that, well, Christine. I Where did she botch the, it? All right, let's let's start. Let's start. I think chronologically. Let's go back a year and a half ago. I thought that the Democratic National Committee officials, who were trying to limit the number of presidential debates, made a mistake, and I told them that That's fair. Um, several times. I thought that and said that publicly at the Democratic National Committee meeting in August of 2015, when we were fighting to have a very robust me economic message, including the Fight for 15 resolution that I authored and that we passed. That's fair. I was That's hoping that fair. we would have more opportunity to mobilize the grassroots around that message. Instead, that that request fell on deaf ears. All right, I'm sure so that's let's fast forward to the general somewhere. election. To the when general election. To, um, any, any final verdict there where Hillary Clinton might have Bernie Sanders uh, staffers were accused of taking some of the uh, information off the voter files. Um, you might remember that um, the response of the DNC was to cut the entire Sa Sanders campaign off from taking fair, a look fair. at those records. In and the I general wrote, election, any, uh, any comments the on the, we're now in the general election, any comments you can't, there? You, know, you can't do that, that's the equivalent of oh the death God. penalty All for right. a campaign the day before a debate. So there have been several times right. when in I the general election, the one thing Democrat in the general National election she botched. She, one thing, Christine, do, that she well, botched in the general I election. I felt that once the, I thought, felt that once we had come out of the convention and done very well, I thought that what we needed to do was to have a more robust cooperation to help the down ticket races. Um, I would have liked to have seen that. All like right. everybody else, I think that more field, I should say everybody else who was making calls to swing states, um, more phone calls, more presence by the candidate is better. And I haven't looked at all of the data, but what I see, and I don't fault Hillary Clinton for, for this per se because she's receiving information from her analysts but one of the things we're talking about as members of the democratic national committee as we pick our new chair is what were the t what was the targeting data did they understand the report that we gave to our congressional candidates in june that talked about where trump had done well hey if you like this video please help my channel grow by liking sharing and subscribing it really helps to get the word out there and it super motivates me to make more videos Thanks a lot.